Today, we're going to talk about the closed loop antifreeze system. In a cold climate, water inside the solar collectors would freeze at night and that would destroy the system because it would split all of the copper tubing inside. Many years ago, the system that you see in this photo was devised to prevent freezing in cold weather. This system is filled and pressurized with a non-toxic antifreeze. It's usually pressurized to about 20 PSI. Starting from left to right, notice the cutout in the side of the tank showing the copper coil heat exchanger that's inside the tank. If you follow the lower pipe out of the tank and up to the gray module, that is the pumping module. And the red tank that is fastened to it to the right of it is the expansion tank where extra antifreeze is held under pressure in a rubber bladder. You can also see a small pressure gauge right next to the gray pumping module and above the red expansion tank. It tells you the pressure inside the system at all times and assists you in pressurizing the system properly when servicing the system. There are several brands of non-toxic solar antifreeze on the market. It's best to purchase the kind that is popular in your area. There is also a pressure relief valve just below the pressure gauge in this photo. Look at the lower left in this photo. You will see a complete pumping module, a solar circulator pump, and a solar electronic control module. These components are all part of the solar pumping module. This is a typical rack of glass tube solar collectors. Here is a view from another angle. Every solar hot water heating system has two sensors. One is connected to the side of the tank underneath the insulation and the other is connected to the top pipe in the solar manifold. When the sensor in the solar collectors exceeds the temperature in the solar tank by five degrees, the controller automatically starts the circulator pump and proceeds to heat the hot water tank until the temperatures equalize and then it will stop until the solar collectors get hot enough again to produce more hot water. And that cycle goes on and off all day. That summarizes the basic operation of the solar antifreeze loop hot water heater. The system is really not that complicated and it is easily installed in one day. This is Walt Barrett and I'll see you next time.